Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a daily video. So for this daily video, we're going to um, gem my Dark Sea Star. As you can see, she's level 60 now. Um, not too many gems. I was thinking about Ruin Set or Intuition Set, but I don't really have anything um, worth putting on her. And if I did go with the uh, Ruin Set, I'd have to steal a gem from my Mona. So... I'm gonna have to find more to, and that would be this gem actually. So I would have to uh, find more until I get something better than this, or just like it. So in the meantime, we're gonna do some gem upgrading. That is the plan. So we're going to, I think this one, because it has current aid and resist. So we're gonna start with this one. And we're just gonna see what it drops. If it drops something like completely useless, then we're just gonna like pack up and move on to the next one. <clears throat> oh god flat stats are cancer okay we'll see what the force stat is come on hmm the moment of truth if we can get just one more good stat like hp or something or crit damage oh god okay okay that just took a um horrible turn down south so let's look at the other defense gems i have uh yeah none of those are exemplary Here's this one. It rolled into crit rate and or actually it it came with four stats. So it's got crit and crit damage. So we just that one might be actually a worthwhile gem to invest our time into. That one as well. Ah, that's HP. Here's this defense gem. Let's check this. Okay, not half bad. The flat HP is actually decent for us because, well, I mean, it's not horrible. It's not as good as HP percentage, but okay, and re recovery. That's, um, I mean, it's not too bad, but I mean, it is bad, but ugh, God. That just fucked up my night. Uh, let's go check this. Let's go. See if we can get some decent rolls here. It did come with four stats, so we have like uh, we could like roll uh, four times. Nice, rolled into crit rate. If it rolls all into crit rate, crit damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, let's see how far we can take this gem. We're taking it all the way, dude. 30%. Come on. I mean, it's not a... It's a pretty bad gem. I'm not gonna lie. It's shit. Look at these stats. Those stats are pretty shit. But if it rolls completely in the curry, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say to you. Oh, God. Defense. I mean, we are a defense aggressor. It's going on a defense aggressor, so. If this was just resist or something. Oh. So we have one more chance to roll it. This is the moment of truth. Let's see if it goes into crit rate. Um, so, oh God, it went to, what was that? Crit damage? 
That's not too bad. Okay. Hmm. Should we chance this one? That's probably going to be my best defensive gem. I mean, we could see what this rolls into. Mm. This one. So much risk on that one. Okay, moving on. We don't want to spend too much time on one gem, right? So... What was I looking at here? There's this one. HP resist crit damage. There's this one that has crit rate and crit damage. Uh, but it doesn't have resist. I was hoping for like crit rate, crit damage, resist or something. Crit rate, yeah. Uh, um, 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 here's this one. Recovery, nah. Here's this one. It has. Yeah, but see, this one. Let's try and roll this one. It has very great potential. Uh, if it's recovery, holy cow. Oh my god, I just knew it. I knew it was going to be something shitty like that, huh? Holy crap. <sighs> what about this? If this gives crit rate, then I would be super happy. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the damn crit rate, dude. I mean, the damn recovery, dude, is so troll. Okay. We might go for that one. This is decent. No, no, no. Wait, what? No, this is decent. Mm-hmm. That's what we want. Mm, shit. Mm. Yeah, okay. This one. The potential in this one is really great. Because no matter what it rolls into, it's beneficial to uh, the Dark Sea Star. I'm just hoping it goes into like crit rate or resist. But really, we can't lose if it goes into defense, right? I mean, it's more damage. So. Oh my god, it rolled into defense. That's fine, I guess. But it would be way better if it rolled into crit rate or something. It's not the best gem, but All right, here we go. Let's okay. Hurry up. Hurry up. The suspense is killing me. The suspense is like, ugh. And then... Okay, I went into resist. Okay, we're gonna take this to plus 12. And... If it goes into... Resist again, I wouldn't mind taking it to, um... Plus 12. Or plus 15. Um, but ideally we want it to go in like. Maybe crit rate or some something. Because we need the. Um, we need crit rate. Right? If. If. 
all the procs wanted to just like crit rate and resist, I would have been a really happy camper. Excuse me. I didn't even see what that, that went. Oh, that went into crit rate. Because that's uh, 12. Okay, not bad. Uh, decent. Decent, decent. Okay, now here's the hard part. The hard part is deciding or actually choosing. Well, actually, it's not really hard because I don't have that much gems, but this is, uh, this has flat recovery and it's only two subsets. So that's rolling the dice. And then here's, um, here's this one, but then, mm, I think this gem right here is more worth rolling than that one. Here's this, uh, pretty sick stats on this gem actually. But it's pretty similar to that, except it doesn't have resist. Right? Yeah. Or it doesn't have a recovery. Mm, this is another pretty decent gem because we get crit damage, crit rate, and then there's HP. But uh, we should go for the one with resist. Let's see what it rolls on its last roll. Uh, okay, so we got attack percentage on that one. Mm. Create crit damage. I just kind of, I, I just want to see what that one rolls actually, to be honest. But we'll roll this one, see what this one has to offer. Maybe, okay, that went to shit. Um, let's try this one. Okay, so this went into HP. So we have HP resist crit rate and then down on this one we have resist crit rate HP and attack. What made this one better? Oh, it's HP percentage. Then there's recovery. I think I'll go with this one. Mm. Uh, this one was shit, right? This one's actually pretty good too, right? So let's see what this has to offer as well. Okay, crit damage. Hmm. Now I'm torn. It's actually going to, now it's gonna depend on what it, oh, what's this one? Mm, nah, shit. So it's going, uh, yeah, skip that. So it's gonna depend on what actually rolls into it. So this has, wow, this one's actually pretty good. They're actually b both decent. Recovery percentage isn't too bad as long as it doesn't keep rolling into it. But we'll see. How about we try and upgrade both of them at the same time and see what has the better distribution of stats. Because in this, this gem, ideally, we don't want HP and attack, right? We want crit rate and resist because that's what we're, our focus is and it just rolled into resist. So basically, as soon as this rolls into HP and attack, I'm going to switch over to the uh, other gem and see what it rolls into. I'm probably not doing it the most efficient way possible, but, um, you know, just have to make sure. And it rolled into attack. Okay. So now if this one rolls into like uh, recovery, then I'm just going to drop it and go back to uh, the one with attack. 
but if you think about it recovery isn't like too bad because um you know we get blue souls and uh, red souls right so it rolled into crit rate I might take this to plus 12. <clears throat> Come on, it's only two plus eight, man. Serious? Are you serious? Okay. Alright, this one went into resist. It went into resist and crit rate, that one. This one went into resist and attack. Conflicted I am. Okay, let's take this to plus 12, ideally. <clears throat> I don't know actually if I have enough to plus 15 all of them. But I can possibly plus 15 one. Come on. Give me a god roll. I keep forgetting that the, it it still has um it has a chance to fuck me over. I'm just praying it doesn't. All right. Oh, nice. I went into crit rate. Right? No, no, no. It didn't go into crit rate. Holy fuck me, dude. It went into crit damage. Jeez, it went into crit damage? Right? Oh my god. Ugh. No, it went into crit rate. It went into crit rate because it went to 19%. Okay. Oh god, I already forgot what I was supposed to put on here. It was this one, right? Because it has 21% crit rate. Oh god, yeah. Gross, not that one. Crit rate resist. Oh, yeah, I stopped because it has two flat stats. And then... Uh... It's like I don't wanna... That's the one I rolled, right? Because it has 21%... Gross. Oh, it's so hard to decide. Sixty three per cent crit rate and thirty two per cent resist. 
Wait, why doesn't this one have... I thought this is the one with, um... Attack. Oh no, this is the one with attack. Okay, so still pretty shit. Hmm. Four, five, six. So like six thousand. Uh, is there anything? This one has eighteen percent crit rate. And 10% crit damage. But the resist on this is too valuable. I mean, it's low resist, but it's rather than having like no resist. I think this is okay to run for now. I don't know if I want to take... I honestly don't know if I want to take any of them to uh, plus 15, to be honest. Like, as of right now. Because uh, we can get better gems. But plus 12 will just suffice. My defense is going to be kind of lackluster for now. Six. So it's like around 8,000 defense. Right? Uh... Uh, so 7,000, like barely, just barely. Almost 8,000. Let's try his leader. Uh, and then we do Mona. Right? Turn this off. Sad defense break one. Just kidding. I do too much damage. Nice. Uh, pretty cool. I wanted to... Set that recovery. Okay. So she does hurt a little bit. Now if I was going to put her in arena, then I would really need to plus 15 my gems. But I mean, 
probably not right now. So the plan is most likely to go into uh, golems and farm a bit for some opportunity at some nicer gems and then some more eggs so we could do some summoning. Um, I don't have too much to do. In separate videos, I'll go over the new units like I usually do after a patch, a big patch or a small patch like this. Uh, I'll probably talk about the skill book when I actually get a skill book so I can go more in depth with it, but I'm not too impressed with it right now. Um, that's just my first thought on it. Uh, and then we'll actually check the events before we go. Since it's almost 12. And then... Okay, so we don't have any points anyway. Let's go check this. Okay, nothing, nothing at all. What do I need to do actually? Summon at special shop and then summon test plus, 10 plus ones. Perform rebirth, perform fusion. I mean, I could do fusions, right? Essentially. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'm um, gemming up my C star. I think there's a little bit more work that can be done. I don't want to invest wholeheartedly into these gems, and you guys know why. Um, but they're they're decent gems, um, at least for dragons, running dragons. Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm, I'm going to say they need to be plus 15, but um, we're going to see my luck at running some other dungeon or the uh, dungeons first and see if we can get anything better. She's not in my dragons team anyway, so like, or like she essentially isn't in my dragons team, if you know what I mean, because I'm running all nukers right now. And then this weekend we get to try the Gatito. So we're excited about that. Uh, you guys will see more of him then. Anyway, thanks for joining me guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.